I've seen you here before Not a coincidence, I'm sure I hope you're looking at me now From the corner of your
everyone welcome back to my channel very very long time no see I have recently got my camera fixed and I just felt the need to well not the need I just wanted to pick up the camera and vlog today um, it's been about let me just change my hands it's been about 10 months since I've picked up the camera and filmed like anything at all um, which I feel like I should explain like I don't need to explain myself I don't feel the need to explain but like I will because obviously I went from like two three videos a week to like nothing um, and I don't know I think at the time when I stopped vlogging it was like not long after Chloe had been born and at that time I don't know if you if you followed my channel for a while then you will know that uh, myself and my partner used to run a pub um, and at the time that Chloe was born or shortly after we started questioning whether we wanted to do it anymore and everything became like such such hard work when you've got like it, I mean it was tough with one child um, like running your own business and like obviously the unsociable hours we were up till one two o'clock in the morning um, some mornings and we just really started questioning like whether it was something we wanted to do anymore and it was really really hard work with um, both the children um, so that was like one of the reasons why I sort of stepped away was because I just feel like I needed like a clear head to think about things um, also at the time we had a lot going on with um, me flagging up that I thought um, Josh had autism which is a completely different video in itself if you want like autism sort of videos and updates then I can absolutely do them but obviously there was a lot going on with that and it's a complete like emotional roller coaster when you start having to go through things like that and again that was another reason that I felt the need to step away um, because I just felt like there was so much going on in my personal life at the time that I just that a I didn't want on the internet and I just I didn't you know want to film and b I was just so busy with a newborn and a toddler and um you know going through all of Josh's assessments and obviously leaving we made the decision to leave the pub um and there are so many legalities and things like that that you have to go through when you um leave somewhere like that and then we had to find somewhere to live and there was so much going on that I just felt like I didn't have the time for YouTube and I'd been quite absent on my channel for a while before that and I if I'm honest I kind of like fell out of love with with it a little bit because it's so like it at, at the time it became such a game as to who can be the biggest who can be the best who can have the fastest following and like sometimes the pressure gets to you a little bit and you think oh my god like my following isn't very big and you know I don't seem I seem to be posting videos and they don't get good responses and um, things like that and the pressure can get to and like I just felt like I wanted to just take a step back and like not think about it for a while um, because the reason why I started making YouTube videos was like it wasn't to have a big following and things like that it was just to like capture memories and you know just like day-to-day -day life so I, th I just felt like the best like plan of action for me was to just step away from it like I didn't have I didn't want to pick up the camera and vlog I didn't want to pick up the camera and and I didn't want to force it and I just felt like if it's not sparking joy for me then I'm just not gonna do it there's so much going on at the moment that I just I haven't got the capacity in my brain to think about that as well um, so I sort of stepped away and we've moved out of the pub and we've got like a little house and you know with that came like obviously like moving house with two young kids um josh has started preschool settling him in i've had lots of um 
things to do with like his autism assessments that have been going on and um <clears throat> just it's been so busy it's been so busy and then my camera broke and i had to get that fixed which cost which cost an absolute fortune um so it's kind of been a long time since i picked up the camera but i was looking back at my youtube the other day and like the last video i posted was my labor and delivery with chloe and she's 10 months old now and it just like made me think that i could have captured the last 10 months um but i haven't so i just sort of think sort of thought to myself like i'm just gonna pick up the camera and vlog and yeah i'm just gonna see how it goes and like if it sparks joy for me anymore then brilliant and if it doesn't then it doesn't um so here i am um josh has already been dropped off at preschool this morning um so he's there i've just got a day with chloe um it's just a bit of a mum day to be honest i've got my food shopping coming in um we are going on holiday next friday we're going up to a haven for a week so i need to get like all the iron in and the washing done and it's just gonna be it's just gonna be a little bit of a like a mundane sort of mum day but i just thought i'd film it um so here we are chloe is over there somewhere uh she's watching twilly Woos and she's just having a play on the floor um and i need to crack on with some jobs but to be honest i just want to sit down and have a hot coffee i don't know about you but like my mornings are so stressful <laughs> like we don't seem to be one of those families that like gets up at the crack of dawn and we're really organized and we're like waiting to go on the school run we're like that family that are pushing our kids out the door to make sure that we're on the school run on time like it just never happens um so yeah i'm gonna go and get some work done now and i'll see you in a bit bye bye <laughs> following on from that i thought i would just show you chloe guys because it is like she hasn't been on since she was a newborn. She is this bit of her daddy. Hello. But she is like such, well, I say she's such a mummy's girl. She's like such a mummy and daddy's girl. Like she won't be past at anybody other than me or Sam. But she is a cutie patootie. She's a cutie patootie. Don't be fooled by the cute face because she's an absolute brute. She's got... It's all finished. It's all finished. She's the cutest little thing, but she's really hard work. Like, don't let the face fool you because she is into everything. She's the naughty one. She's the naughty one, guess what? You better turn up. You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby
Okay, so the food shopping's just arrived, um, and I thought I'd show you guys what I've got. Um, just bear in mind, this isn't a full food shop, um, because we are going on holiday next week. I've got loads of meat and things in the freezer already, so I didn't need, like, anything like that. So this is more of, like, a top-up shop rather than, um, a big, sort of, weekly shop. Um, but I thought I'd show you just in case. Um, I shop at Tesco's online they just deliver to my door and it's just so easy um so i will show you what i got it came to 48 pounds um it doesn't look like much but i got quite a few like expensive items so that's why it's sort of more expensive but i will just show you what i got so to start with i got some um complete dry adult dog food um i got a box of the follow-on milk for Chloe. I got a big pack of the decaf coffee because caffeinated sends me wild. I've got a big jumbo box of fragrance-free baby wipes. I have a pack of the Tesco's own Fred and Flow 4 Plus nappies for Chloe. We have some raspberry bath, bubble bath stuff for the kids. Um, some anti-dandruff shampoo. We have some passion flower and almond milk bubble bath for myself and Sam. Well, Sam will use it, but um, I really like this scent. Sam doesn't really care. Um, I got some of these four granola squares. They were on offer. If you haven't tried these, oh my God, they are amazing. I was never a big granola fan and my mum bought some and she was like, you have to try them. And they are like the best thing ever. So I'm going to have that with a coffee after I finish showing you. I've got some apple and blackcurrant squash. Just a small one because we're going on a caravan holiday. I thought it would be quite handy to just take. Um, I've got two of the Petit Falou yogurts. The kids love these. I tend to get these over the Tesco ones because they always have a really, really good date on them. Um, I've got a big pot of hummus. I have a fabric conditioner. I love the smell of this. I'm obsessed with like lavender smelling like fabric conditioners and stuff. I've got two pear and berry rice cakes. These are like the baby ones. Josh takes these for his snack at preschool and Chloe really likes them as well. So we get through these like this no tomorrow. I've got a pack of the finely sliced Wiltshire cured ham. I usually get the honey roasted, but it was substituted for this today, which is fine. Um, I've got some two packs of these Rose Dean Farm raspberries, two packs of the Rose Dean Farm strawberries. And actually, I think that that is it. Um, it's just, as I said, like a little top-up shop to keep us going until we go on holiday next week. And, like, I'm so, so excited for these. So I'm going to finish this now and go and have a coffee and one of these granola bites. So Chloe's just having a little bit of lunch. And she's got some breadsticks. And some, um, I've just literally, like, dipped them in the, the tub of hummus. Um, and it's just some nice finger foods for her because she really doesn't like being spoon fed by anybody. So, yeah, this is one of her favourites. I might chop up some cucumber, but um, she doesn't actually have any teeth yet. So, <laughs> like, things that are really hard, um, just... Oh, the lighting's really bad there. Things that are really hard, she just can't. She just can't chew it up. She just chokes. Um, so yeah, and I am having some leftover spaghetti bolognese from what I did the other day. Um, and I just have been editing the first half of this vlog because Chloe was quite happy playing with her toys on the carpet and I thought I'm just gonna get some of um, the clips imported and editing. I've done the ironing. I've already said I've done the ironing, haven't I? And yeah. I think Joshua's nan is going to pick him up from preschool today, so I don't have to do the preschool pickup, which is really nice because the weather is absolutely abysmal here. Um, and so I think I might hang the load of washing out that I put on this morning. Um, and I was going to make some cakes because we're like, we love cake in this house. Um, so I might do that, but I might save that for when Joshua gets back because he really really likes cooking um and that would be a nice one to and do with him so i'm gonna have some lunch now and yeah see you in a bit Lock of gold, a secret smile, little thing. 
Look who's home! Say hello everyone! Hello! Hello everyone! Joshua's home now. It's about five o'clock on the dot exactly. Um, I think I might finish this vlog here. Josh has had a full day at preschool um, and then he went to his nanny's house for a couple of hours. Um, and he's just home now and we're watching a bit of telly because he's really, really tired. Um, and I'm just going to get some tea on and get them bathing into bed. Um, yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to finish this vlog here. Otherwise, it's going to be really, really long. And um, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love to see a few more of you around here. And I will see you all again soon. Bye, guys.
as I'm staying close to the mirror A lock of gold, a secret smile Little things I remember Plays a hand upon my heart as her She was a believer Sometimes I can feel her arms Holding me as forever 